Okay guys, what is up? Welcome to the next epic evolution video I will be doing. I will be adding a lot of new Pokemon to the Pokedex, starting off with these... Well, not, the, not these Magnemites, but I'm going to start off the epic 100% IV evolution video with these all these Magnemites. I'm, I'm, I'm evolving quite a lot of these. Um, I think about six or seven. Um, so in the meantime, I'll talk about what I'm going to do today. What I'm going to do today is uh, obviously evolve a ton of Pokemon. Uh, but the main thing I'm going to do is evolve a bunch of new Pokemon with evolution items. As you can tell by the title of the video, Charge, ca charge, charge Cannon Zap Beam. Um, charge Beam Zap Cannon. Where does that... I don't know where that fits. Well, we'll just keep evolving and I won't wa waste any time. This is going to be the 100% IV. I'm going to save that for the very end. I've actually got more than 100, well, more than one, actually. So I'll um, evolve this guy. I've got a ton of candies, guys. As you can tell, I've got like 1,800. <laughs> there are just so many Magnemites and so many Magnemite nests here in Hong Kong because it's a water biome and next to the pier, next to any pier or waterfront, they're usually just Magnemites for days. So what I'm going to do in this video is as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I'll be evolving a ton of new Pokemon uh, with my evolution items that will include, uh, just off the top of my head, uh, Kingdra. Two Kingdras. I'll be evolving a Steelix, a Scissor, Porygon 2 as well. So this is exciting, guys. This is exciting. See what move sets I get. Um, also be getting a Blissey. With a really high IV, this is Spark Zap. This is another Spark Zap Cannon. No, this is Charge. That was Charge Beam Zap Cannon. So I'll save the 100% IVs for the very end. Okay, this one's 96% IV. Now, getting into some specific Pokemon. Uh, we ended last. We ended last the last evolution video with a, a Slowbro and a Slow King. But beginning, we start off with these Magnetons. Not very exciting. But a spark magnet bomb right there. Okay, last. This is 98% IV. I've got so many good IVs. It's just ridiculous how many good IV uh, magnemites I have. Um, charge beam magnet bomb is actually the best defensive move set. Uh, Thundershock discharge legacy move set is now the best uh, attack move set, as well as spark discharge. So any discharge is apparently the best. Um, Charge be magnet bomb. I didn't get a magnet bomb there. Flash cannon is now a 100 attack. Wow, I didn't realize that. Okay, now onto our 100% IVs. These are the most important ones. Um, magnetons are really good because they have a lot of resistance. They're, they're uh, not a lot of Pokemon are super effective against steel types. Ground types are super effective against it, but pretty much everything else is not. So it's resistance against bug, electric, uh, grass, normal, rock, fairy, poison. Uh, steel, obviously, double resistant to steel. Spark Flash Cannon again. I don't think that's very good. Spark Flash Cannon. Um, another 100% IV. Let's do this, guys. So and uh, and continuing, it's gr resistant. Also resistant against ground. It's double resistance. Resistant. Double resistant against steel type, obviously, because electric and steel type. And then it's also resistant against ice and psychic. It's like it's super like. Charge Beam Magnet Bomb. Such a good typing. Charge Beam Magnet Bomb. Charge Beam Magnet Bomb. That's the best defensive moveset. I don't think I got a... I got Spark. I might have got Spark Flash Cannon. We'll have to check. Did I get Spark Flash Cannon? Thunderstruck Discharge. Spark Discharge. So I've got... I've, still, I've got some good ones from previously. This one's probably my best now. Really high CP. Charge Beam Zap Cannon. I want... Th I want... Um, spark Zap Cannon. Did I get Spark Zap Cannon? I got... I don't think I did. I got Charge... Ooh, Charge Beam Magnet Bomb, yeah. Best defensive moves that Spark Discharge. Spark Flash Cannon, Spark Flash Cannon, Spark Zap. Spark Zap Cannon? Yep, Spark Zap Cannon. So right there, 91% IV got a really good attacking uh, magne Magneton right there. So on to our next Pokemon is going to be a, a Seal. <laughs> I actually made a mistake. I, um... I'll be evolving the seal right now. It's only 84% and I've only got one seal. That's because I, I think I must have evolved my 100% IV seal uh, by mistake. Um, but these things, best attacking moveset is obviously Frost Breath, Frost Breath Blizzard. Iron Tail Blizzard is also up there. Ice, uh, Ice Shard Icy Wind is now its best defensive moveset. So Frost Breath Aurora Beam. It's the second best attacking moveset. But the 100% IV... 
I actually got a Frost Breath Blizzard. So I, I, I did not evolve it for you guys, but I got a Frost Breath Blizzard. I must have evolved it by mistake some, somewhere down the line. And now the next Pokemon is Cloyster. Now Cloyster is slightly annoying because I had some good IVs saved up, including that 100% IV. Um, actually, should I evolve this one? Should I evolve the... Let me just check my Cloisters right now. Um, let's have a look at Cloyster. Frost Breath Avalanche is its new best attacking moveset. Um, Ice Shard Avalanche also really up there. Ice Shard Avalanche also best defensive moveset. So that's what we want, guys. But in terms of what I've got, uh, Ice Shard, Hydro Pump, that used to be the best defensive moveset. Frost Breath, Blizzard, 80, only 87% IV. Another Frost Breath, Blizzard, 73% IV. Ice Shard, Hydro Pump, 93% uh, IV. Does that? Yeah, Ice Shard, Hydro Pump is the best defensive moveset. Okay, and then my Ghastlies. Um, oh, speaking of Haunters and Gengars, I I'm extra annoyed at that because I can no longer get um, the best move sets for that so i'll be evolving them anyway i'll evol be evolving all of them anyway because i've already got my frost breath blizzard only 87 percent iv but it's uh, i'll still power it up if i need an extra uh, ice type attacker okay guys let's not waste any time let's evolve some pokemon frost breath avalanche straight away frost breath avalanche best attacking move set that's nice that's, and I've uh, got my second 87% IV. Now the next one is going to be important. I'm kind of, uh, the fact that I just evolved a Frost Breath Avalanche, Shelda right there, uh, means that I probably won't get Frost Breath Avalanche for my 100% IV. Frost Avalanche does 90 damage. Frost Breath Aurora Beam. At least I got Frost Breath. Okay, this is going to be the 100% IV Shelda into a Cloister. We want Frost Breath. Uh, Avalanche. Aurora Beam's a really slow attack, guys. Like, let's have a look at this. Yeah, 3.55 cooldown. That is unreal. Avalanche is 2.7. Still, still on. Frost Breath, Hydro Pump. Okay. Yeah, we didn't get the Frost Breath uh, or, uh, Avalanche for this guy for our 100% IV, but Hydro Pump is still a really quick attack, so it can be used. It's still going to be useful. In certain situations. Now the next guy was the one I'm annoyed about. Gengar. I, I saved. I kept these two night really high IV haunters. But I can we can no longer get Shadow Claw Shadow Ball. I've got a Shadow Claw Shadow Ball somewhere. Sucker Punch. Shadow Claw Shadow Ball. This is the one 89% IV. Only 89% IV. 5 IV points away from 100% IV. That's unfortunate. Got Hex Focus Blast here. Shadow Claw Sludge Bomb. Shadow Claw Sludge Bomb. It's... It's uh, still its best defensive moveset, so I, at least I've got one of them. Um, really high uh, IV as well, 96% there. There it is. There's the Onyx, guys. Very soon. So we're evolving this guy first. This guy's going to be a beast. It's like already 1200 CP. So let's see what uh, movesets we can get with our uh, Gengar. Hex Shadow Ball would be the best attacking moveset. Hex Sludge Bomb, best defensive move set. Actually, no. Uh, Shadow Claw Sludge Bomb is still the best defensive move set. So, hoping for Hex, Hex Sludge Bomb. Not what we want. We want to try and get a Hex Shadow Ball, double ghost type move. That's another Gengar. This is the big one. So, what, what was that CP? I didn't notice the CP. Um, hang on. Was it Ghastly? Was it 90? It was 98% Ivy, wasn't it? It was 1865. That's 1865. That's almost 2000 CP, guys. Okay, this is going to be the Haunter. 100% Ivy Haunter. Um, I evolved them from the Ghastly just to, you know, as a XP. Just for XP, just to speed up the process a little bit. When I was doing my power evolving, I thought, oh, well, I might as well evolve these three stage evolutions into second stage. And Sucker Punch like that is terrible. <laughs> that is terrible. Did not get the moveset here. Sucker Punch, Sludge Bomb. Sucker Punch... Uh, Sludge Bomb, it's, it's ranked a B, but it's like not even near, it's like the 5th or 6th, six, 6th best attacking moveset. Sucker Punch, Sludge Bomb. Um, Sucker Punch I think is a really quick attack, so it's even worse on def defense. So not a single ghost type move with that 100% IV, that's unfortunate. At least it's not that high CP. Okay now, guys. Here it is. My first ever Steelix Evolution. 100% IV, okay. Let's have a look now. 
What is its best moveset? I, best attacking moveset? Well, it can be a few things. You definitely want Steel type, so it can get Iron Tail, Dragon Tail as a quick move. You can get Heavy Slam, Earthquake, and Crunch as uh, defend as charge moves. So let's do this, guys. Okay, my first ever Steelix. Steelix, this is going to be for the Pokedex. Um, I definitely defensive move sets. Iron Tail, Heavy, heavy Slam, and then Dragon Tail, Heavy Slam. But you definitely want Steel, Steel type to get that stab. So Iron Tail, Heavy Slam. Uh, you can't go wrong with Iron Tail Heavy Slam. So, there you go. First ever Steelix. Iron Tail Heavy Slam, 100% IV. Yes, we got it. We didn't didn't get the moveset with the Gengar, but we got Iron Tail Heavy Slam, the best defensive moveset, and I think the best attacking moveset with our Steelix. 70 damage. I got this in uh, Shun 1. Um, let's have a look at its uh, heavy slam. It does its oh, it's it's pretty good in gyms actually. 1.5 seconds. What's its cooldown? Two seconds for cooldown. Um, earthquake is terrible defensive move, uh, and it doesn't get. It also gets stabbed, but it's uh, it's more of an attacking move. So crunch is uh, cooldown. Oh, crunch actually takes quite a long. So its cooldown is it's pretty high, but it's got a quick like uh, animation. No, it's not. It's got a quick. Um, dodge time so 1.3 seconds before the crunch move text and the yellow flash so as a defender crunch would be okay um it would be actually slightly better than heavy slam but heavy slam gets stabbed and its cooldown is slower so yeah um okay really happy iron tail heavy slam steelix now the next pokemon on the list is gonna be oh dear oh dear guys it's gonna be all these it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be all these Kiglas. It's gonna be all these Krabbies. Okay, let's get through it. I've got 1200 candies. Um, got a ton of... Now, I know I did previously evolve a Bubble Water Pulse Kingler. So it's got good movesets now. Water, Bubble and Water Pulse is, I think is the best moveset now. Bubble Water Pulse. And it's got really, really high CP. So, like, even if you put it in gyms, it's gonna be good. Because it's gonna get placement. Bubble Vice Grip. We've got plenty of tries at this, guys. I am going to keep one of those triple sevens for luck. Um, I have two triple seven king. I have two triple seven crabbies. Can you believe that, guys? I've got two triple seven crabbies. One of them is good IVs. One of them is bad IVs. I'll keep the bad IV one, and I'll evolve the good IV one. Okay, so bubble water pulse. The previous best move set was bubble X scissor, which was. It's also tied for the best attacking. No, it's not. No longer. It's tied for the best defensive move set. This used to be the best. Attacking move set, Bubble X Scissor. Okay, unfortunately we didn't get our good. Okay, this is the 775. Gonna save the 100% IVs for the very end. Also the highest CP, so got lucky with the CP roll there. Uh, bubble X Scissor. What's X Scissor like as an attack now? X Scissor is still a quick attack. 1.2 seconds between the yellow flash move text and the yellow flash. Cooldown is 1.6, so still really quick. Water Pulse as ah, a bad defensive move set. Metal Claw X says a no. No. Okay, triple seven. This one's gotta this one's gotta be a good moveset, guys. It has to be. Water Pulse is a very bad defensive move, turns out. 2.2 seconds between the move text and the yellow flash. You're not gonna be defending. And its cooldown is 3.2 seconds. No, you do not want. So I think maybe it's Vice Grip or X is the best defensive moveset. Even though in terms of DPS, Bubble Water Pulse is li is listed. Bubble Water Pulse, there you go. 93% IV bubble water pulse. Okay. Just to check, guys, this triple seven is. Yeah, it's bad IVs. So it's going to be this 100% IV. This is going to be really high CP. This is going to be it's over a thousand. It could it could still be higher. But um, the best attack, best move sets, because like max CP is really high 2694. So you're definitely going to get anyone, you don't even need to be the highest level to get over 2,600. Um, so, Bubble X Scissor, okay, Bubble X Scissor, and the last Kingler, I've just, I've still got like nine, over 900 candies after evolving all those Kinglers, like six or seven Kinglers. A Krabby's I evolved, um, Krabby's I evolved six, so Bubble X Scissor is still probably, is definitely the best defensive moveset, because... Bubble Water Pulse isn't is Bubble Water Pulse is not a good defensive move, so you're gonna want Bubble X Scissor to put in gyms if you want to put it in gym. Really high CP, gets great placement. Metal Claw X Scissor, no. So at least we've got 100% IV Bubble X Scissor. It's really high CP, look at that CP, 2,200. 
my other ones over 2k as well bubble excess of best defensive move set and my bubble water pulse uh 90 i actually have another bubble water pulse that i didn't evolve today i evolved it in one of my live streams when gen 2 first came out so bubble water pulse 93 percent ivy 1500 cp metal claw water pulse this one but also 93 percent ivy so both 1500 cp exactly identical cp 1521 wow guys so got the best attacking moves at least it's slightly better now for uh uh the gyms now um, so I'm going to next I'm going to be evolving these vault orbs um, We've got 15 minutes Eek. So I better just just power through these guys right now I wasn't going to evolve them, but um, I did because I didn't catch I actually didn't film that 100% IV vault orb for you guys um, Let's have a look at electrode You know in, and if we run out of time, I'll just put on another, another lucky egg. It's fine guys. It's fine. Um, Electrode, Volt Switch Discharge, Spark Thunderbolt is the best attacking move set. Volt Switch Discharge, best defensive move set. If you want to put it in a gym, 1900 max CP, not very good. Volt Switch Thunderbolt is also a very good defensive move set. 91% uh, IV, this one. So, we want Spark Thunderbolt. Can it still get? No, yes, it can still get. Tackle Thunderbolt is a legacy move set now. Tackle Hyper Beam. I used to get a lot of Tackle Hyper Beams, guys. Um, you can still get Hyper Beam, but you can't get Tackle anymore. So Spark and Volt Switch are the quick moves for Electrode. Now Volt Switch Hyper Beam. Volt Switch Hyper Beam is a does it will do a lot of damage. But it's it's ranked one of the second worst. The second worst attack and move set. And uh, also pretty, like, middle of the row for a defensive move set. But, you, but Hyper Beam is automatically a terrible defensive move so terrible so that 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 uh, electro wasn't any good but at least we got one uh good good move set uh electrode can't use it in gyms but volt switch discharge i mean did we get volt was it volt switch discharge or volt switch thunderbolt i think it was volt switch thunderbolt we want spark thunderbolt try and get spark thunderbolt volt switch i believe again so unfortunate right there that one i think was 91 percent iv so Voltor 91, I think this one was the Volt Switch Hyper Beam. Or Volt Switch Discharge as well. So not very good right there. Um, the next one on the list is gonna be a tank of a Pokemon going by Pokedex number. I'm sure you can maybe guess. It is Rhyhorn. Gonna get myself 200% IV Rhyhorns. I haven't got that many candies for these, so I'll definitely evolve these two. 100% IV Rhydon. Let's see what we get. Still going to be the same movesets, guys. Mud Slap, Earthquake, Mud Slap, Stone Edge. But I don't have the, I don't have any Rhydons with the best movesets that are good IVs. So I think I've got 87% IV. My 93% IV, I think, has Rock Smash. So Rock Smash, Earthquake, bugger. That is bad, guys. That is bad. So this one's going to be the, the test. So I've got, I still got a 98% IV. This, tw this 93% IV, 23 CP, I can't evolve that. So I'll go through my Rhydons right now really quickly. Mud Slap, Mega Horn, can't use that. Mud Slap, Stone Edge, 89% IV. So this is a good one. Also Mud Slap, Stone Edge, but only 82% IV. At least it's got 2000 CP. Rock Smash, Earthquake. And then another Rock Smash, Earthquake. So, uh, yeah, I'll evolve this one first. It's 98% IV. It's still really good. It's still really good. I'll be evolving three. I want, I, 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 I uh, missed the 98% IV. I didn't realize I had one. So this is going to be 98% uh, IV. I still haven't got a Mud Slap Earthquake. Like, not a single one's got Mud Slap Earthquake. Even bad IVs. Or relatively bad IVs, like in the 80s. Low 80s. Okay. Rock Smash Mega Horn. Okay, at least we got this Rock Smash Mega Horn out of the way. That is a terrible moveset. Okay, this is the big one, guys. I won't be evolving the 82%, 84%, or 87% because Rhyhorns are still quite rare where I am. I've only got 300 candies, whereas as you saw with my King, my Krabbies, and my um, Magnetons, I've got like 900 candies, over a thousand candies for these guys. So I don't want to use up too many candies for these guys. I want to power up some of them. So 100% IV, come on, give me a good move set here. Mud Slap Earthquake, yes. My first ever Mud Slap Earthquake, Rhyhorn. Not Mud Slap Stone Edge. Stone Edge is actually the best moveset to get because Stone Edge is so quick. Like, as a gym defender, it's the best. Even, even as a single charge move, Stone Edge 
is a really good uh, defensive charge move because it's 0.7 seconds between the move text and the yellow flash. You're taking out anyone with this. Like, no one can dodge that 0.7 seconds. Mudslap Earthquake, on the other hand, now what is its cooldown like? Uh, cooldown is 2.3 for Stone Edge. Okay, so it's like middle of the road, quite slow. Uh, Earthquake is purely attacking. You cannot use it for a, as a defensive move set. Uh, but we got Mudslap, guys. Very happy. 2200 as well. Really high CP. My best ri ride on, I think. No, my best ride on is this one uh, Mudslap Mega Horn. Ugh. Next one is our Chansey, or our Blissey, sorry, our Blissey, 96% IV. I caught this before Gen 2, and I and it, because I caught, following the Pokedex number, this one comes up next, so of course I have to evolve it. I haven't got that many candies, 167. I didn't play that much during the event, um, but it's still enough, I think, to power up one Blissey, max out one Blissey. And I can farm Blissies. In Hong Kong, we have very good trackers, so I can, like, if I need to, I can farm some Chanseys. I'd rather farm Chansey than Blissey. Okay, here we go, guys. Blissey. Zen Headbutt Hyper Beam. Ah, as a defensive move, you do not want Hyper Beam. You want Psychic. But it's a Blissey. 96% IV evolved right off the bat. 2,555 CP. So Zen Headbutt Hyper Beam is the... Um third best defensive move set but you don't want hyper beam as a defensive move it's mainly just as a tank like you won't be able to it'll take really lot to take it out regardless of move set so zen headbutt um what's my other one i think my other one is also hyper beam it might be dazzling no um i can't remember i'll, I'll check at the very end i'll check at the very end guys um so my next pokemon is going to be two kingdras two 100 percent iv So this is going to be my first Kingdra, guys. Okay, I've got two of these. I've got two of these items, guys. This is going to be big. My first ever Kingdra. Yes, here we go, guys. Here we go. Okay. I've only got... I haven't got that much longer on the Lucky Egg. So um, let's get through these. I've got still sorts and Pokemon. You want Dragon Breath Blizzard, I think. Dragon Breath or Dragon Breath Outrage. There you go. First ever Kingdra. Nice. Dragon Breath Blizzard. Dragonites, you are done. Dragonites are now done, as far as I'm concerned. Dragon Breath Blizzard. Nice. Okay. Um, now, you could. Now, the other best uh, moveset would be. Dragon Breath Blizzard is actually ranked the worst defense, worst attacking moveset. Are you kidding me? But it would, it'll take out Dragonites. That's fine. With a max CP of 2400, you're never going to put it in a gym. So. Oh, you might do, just for just for laughs, but Dragonites are done. Now, this is my second 100% IV. Haven't evolved it yet, so I'm going to evolve it twice into my Kingdra. Dragon Breath Outrage is apparently the best attacking moveset, mainly because of Stab. Uh, Kingdra doesn't get Stab for... Um... Sorry, guys. I forgot to turn on my own Um Okay, this is it. Second, 100% IV Kingdra. 200% IV Kingdras. Dragon Breath. Outrage. I don't want Dragon Breath Hydro Pump. I've got so many Hydro Pump. A a a tons of Pokemon with Hydro Pump. Do not give me... I want Outrage. Dragon Breath, Outrage. Or Dragon Breath, anything really. Because Dragon Breath with Stab. It's because Outrage gets Stab. Water Gun Outrage. Ah. But Water Gun is really quick attack. So it'll build up energy really quickly. And got we got Outrage. This is, a this is the best charge move definitely two charge bar move with 110 damage so like oh my goodness cooldown 3.9 it's not a good defensive move uh it's what it's 2.5 seconds between move text and yellow flash so you're not going to be defending with this guy but attacking wise yes i can use both my kingdras against dragonites no problem whatsoever especially the first one dragon breath blizzard that is like Awesome for taking out Dragonites and Dragonites st and and Tyranitars because I think Tyranitar. If I go to my list, Tyranitar. I think that's I think they're weak against um, Ice types as well. Um, <clears throat> no, they're not. Okay, yeah, they're double weak against Fighting. Sorry, um, and because they're Dark type, they're weak against uh, Fairy, Ground, Steel, Steel type. Ooh, okay. 
Anyway, moving on to the next pack. Really happy with that. Double Kingdra. Got Dragon Breath, Blizzard, and, and Water Gun Outrage. So the next one... Oh, I've got some gold beans I need to evolve. Next one, I was going to evolve a ton of Staryus, but we don't have enough time. So, and Starmies in terms of moveset. Like, it's, st it's still very common. So I'll, I'll evolve this 100% IV, just because it's 100% IV. I did catch it for you guys, I think. I'm not sure. Yes, I think I did. <clears throat> Lucky Egg's got five minutes left, as you can tell by the timer on the top left. Um, I'll evolve this 100% IV. Hopefully it gets Water Gun Hydro Pump. Um, what's his max CP? 2,300. So as an attacker, it's... Oh, crap. Um, uh, okay, 100% Water Gun Psychic. Ah, not very good. Not very good. Anyway, so we, this is the second one, guys. Uh, I don't know which one to evolve. Uh, 96%, my 96% IV Scyther or my 93%. That's really high CP. But because, because this is the Ivy League, I'll be evolving... The 96% because it's only 50 candies and I've got enough candies to power up. So 96% IV Scyther is going to be evolved into a scissor right now. My first ever scissor. It's best move set: Bullet Punch, Iron Head, Fury Cutter, Iron Head. You want? I think you want the Steel Attacks. Defensive move set. Actually, a ton of its move sets are good. Bullet Punch, Iron Head, Fury Cutter, Iron Head, Bullet Punch, X Scissor, Fury Cutter, X Scissor. All ranked A on Game Press. There you go. First ever scissor. Fury Cutter X, oh, Fury Cutter X is, but it's got really high CP, it's night, it's still, uh, I'm not, not happy with that guys, I'm not happy with that. Luckily, I've got another one. I didn't tell you about that, did I? I got, I spun another Metal Coat, so I had three Metal Coats, so this is 93% IV, we want a Bullet Punch Iron Head, like a Steel move, Steel type move set, come on. Come on. Oh my god. Uh, I'm I'm mad. I'm mad. No bullet punch. But it's still really high C oh, I forgot to look at the CP. What was I can't remember what it was. Um the next one is going to be uh the big one guys. Three magic up into Gyarados. All hundred percent Ivy. Did not get a shiny. I was trying to catch, um, where's my female? Yeah, this is female. So I'm going to be evolving these 100% Ivy Magikarps. 300% Ivy Magikarps, two 170 CP, one 188 CP. Guys, you guys. Like, I, I, try, I just farmed Magikarp like crazy during the event. All just high Ivy Magikarp in the hopes that one of them would hit and would get a shiny Dragon Tail Outrage. That's really good. Second magic carp. No, not this one. Ooh, not this one. I've got plenty of candies, so I'm going to be over 2,000. I had 2,600 just now. This is going to be my female. My first ever female Gyarados. Dragon Tail Outrage is now the best attacking move set, along with Dragon Tail Hydro Pump. Oh, as well as Dragon Breath Hydro Pump. I've got one of those, but only 80% IV. These are all going to be now. Gyarados doesn't have any bad move sets now. Even Crunch, even if you get Crunch, it's still going to be a good defensive move. So Bite Hydro Pump, already got one of them, unfortunately, for that. This is the big one. This is going to be the big one, guys. 100% Ivy Magic Carp. Max level you can catch in the wild. This one's at 5,000 dust. The other two at 4,500 dust, so 170 CP. This is at 188 CP. Wow. Okay, I'll go I'll go through some of those CPs. I didn't, because I, I, I'm running low on time. Dragon Tail Crunch. Okay, so best defensive move, I think, right now. 2,800, guys. Like, I caught that wild. I have not powered it up whatsoever. So it's almost as powerful as my Dragon Breath Hydro Pump. But right now, I've only got a minute left. So I'm going to go straight to my Porygon and evolve into a... Oh, crap, 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 crap. Where is it? My 100%... Ivy Porygon. Okay, guys. I've got 30 seconds to spare. <laughs> Porygon 2 got to be my first ever Porygon 2. Now, you don't want to spend candies powering these guys up because you're going to want to save those candies for, for the next Porygon, Porygon Z. And I don't know gen what. I don't know which generation, but... First ever Porygon 2. Look at that rubber duck. <laughs> Hidden power poison and hyper beam. Poison. That's very strange. So right now, I'll head out see how much XP we got. 
41,000 XP, so not as much as previously. 41,000 is still a lot of XP. It still hasn't dented my XP bar. So let's go to those poor Ashley. No, I'll uh, go back to those Gyaradoses, because those Gyaradoses were crazy, guys. Super high CP. Like, uh, but I'm not, like, we didn't get everything. Not everything went our way, so. This is my powered up Dragon Breath Hydro Pump. It's only 80% RB, but it's got Dragon Breath. Nicknamed Dragon Breath. 2,900, but this guy, Dragon Breath Crunch, best defensive moveset, I think, on Gyarados right now. It's listed as Dragon Breath Hydro Pump, but like Hydro Pump is a single charge bomb move, so you can dodge it, and its cooldown is 3.3 seconds. The time between the move text and the yellow flash is only 0.9 seconds, so it's hard to dodge, but after you dodge it, or after you get hit, you can put a lot of, um, you can take, you can make a lot of, take a lot of hits, not take a lot of hits, you can hit Gyarados a lot of times, because it's cooldown, it's 3.3, 3.3 seconds. Um, whereas Crunch, cooldown is also 3.2, so actually, 1.3, but it's a 3 charge bomb move, so it'll constantly attack, it's harder to dodge. So I think I prefer this one as my Defender Dragon Tail Crunch. Um, but obvi obviously Hydro Pump will be listed as the best Dragon Breath, uh, dra the Bite Dragon Pulse was that, that, is that one, Dragon Tail Crunch. So I, so we didn't get the, pro probably didn't get the best, but we still got, uh, Dragon Tail, Hydro, Dragon Tail Outrage, no, not, this wasn't this one, wait a minute, Dragon Tail Outrage, 100% IV, best attacking move set. So what's Outrage like as a defensive move? Let's have a look now. Oh, it's terrible. You can't use that. You can't use that. It's cooldown is okay. It's bad as well. 3.9, but it's... Time between move text and yellow flash is 2.5 seconds. So you can't use that. So we've got Crunch. Decent defender. Not as good as Hydro Pump. But I'd say it's, it's about the same. You can still use it, I think. Because it's a 3 charge bar move. Um, so after our... I know this is over half an hour, guys. But I want to go through some of my Pokemon with you. We also evolved a Steelix, so I'll go to name, so I don't have to search through. Um, um, what was the other one I was going to look at? Uh, Steelix, Steelix. Also got Kingdra. Actually, I'll go with my Kingdras first. K, 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 K. Kingdra. Look at that. Well, oh, Horsey. Sorry, Horsey. I haven't renamed him yet. So Horsey, Water Gun Outrage, 100% IV. But this is the prize. Dragon Breath Blizzard. Now what's uh, Porygon 2's moveset like? It's not listed. Hidden Power. Uh, what's its... It doesn't have. Porygon 2 does not have a like best attacking moveset or best defensive moveset on Game Press. Because it's Hidden Power, it can be any type. And I got Hyper Beam. So it's, it's still the best attacking move attacking moveset because it's got Hyper Beam. Um, so, very happy with that. And got to got to go to my what was the other one I was looking for? I was looking for um, Steelix. There we go, Steelix. Hundred percent, I was Steelix. Very happy with the Steelix. Uh, Hundred percent, Ivy Steelix. Got a Porygon two with hidden power poison. I'll show you that in a second. Um, Scyther didn't go our way, got a ride on with Mudslap Earthquake, this is, along with my uh, Dragon Breath Blizzard Kingdra, this is my prize. Iron Tail Heavy Slam, 100% Ivy Onyx, 100% Ivy uh, Scyther didn't go our way, I used two Metal Coats, and I still didn't, I still didn't get a Steel-type moveset. Uh, oh well guys, oh well. Um, and uh, finally I'll end with the Porygon 2, cause it's a element OP, so it should be right here. Oh, by the way, in my last video, I, I evolved a 96% IV Mud Slap Earthquake uh, Politoed. But I didn't mention that I previously evolved a Politoed with Bubble Blizzard, like an amazing moveset. So I wasn't that mad at that, because I evolved it during one of my original live, Gen 2 live streams. Here is my Porygon 2, 100% IV, Hidden Powered Hyper Beam, guys. So I'll end the video there with my Porygon 2. 100% IV, hidden power hyper beam. Hope you've enjoyed my next Pokemon Go video. I don't know what it exactly will be, but I will be definitely beginning my uh, Gen 2 Ivy League series where I'll be catching super high Ivy Gen 2 Pokemon only. 
I've already recorded some some crackers, guys. Some crackers. Some some great some great catches in those. Um, but I also will try and do some other Pokemon Go videos that will involve just me catching new Pokemon. No new po new entry to the Pokedex. But the main thing I want to focus on is this Ivy League series right now. Gen 2 Ivy League. I've got some really good catches right now. So, hope you enjoyed. This has been Ash Catch of 1987. My road to level 40. Signing off. Guys, I forgot to show you my other Blissey. So real quick, this is the Blissey we just evolved. 96% Ivy, really good moveset. Because um, it's got Zen Headbutt. So as long as it's got Zen Headbutt, it's an excellent defender. 96% Ivy, 2500 CP. But movesets don't matter, guys. This is the other Blissey I evolved during the live stream. On day one, my very first Pokemon Go live stream of... Just live stream, the day Gen 2 launched. I evolved it, I think, at the end of the live stream. Where I just This was my best... Chansey uh, at the t uh, this was my best Chansey and I wanted to save these 96% Ivy Chansey for this particular evolution so this one's 89% Ivy does not have a great moveset Pound Psychic however any Blissey like I just said any Blissey with any moveset is a 10 out of 10 defender it doesn't matter what their moveset is in fact Psychic is a better defensive move than Hyper Beam so but the best defensive move is definitely Dazzling Gleam um, two charge bar move does 100 damage and its cooldown is 3.5 compared to Psychic's cooldown which is 2.8 so actually the best defensive move is Psychic I would say Zen Headbutt Psychic would be the best defensive move set if you're asking me personally what would mo be most likely to do damage against your opponent Zen Headbutt Psychic but there you go guys my blissies now I'll sign out